Limpica comes to Broadway this spring based on the life of the trailblazing Polish Art Deco artist. It stars Eden Espinosa and is directed by Tony Award winner Rachel Chavkin. Let's send it out to Beth Stevens. Thanks, Tamsin. Rachel Chavkin won a Tony Award for Hadestown. Now she's returning to Broadway with Lempica. The new musical delves into the life of Art Deco painter Tamara de Lempica. I caught up with the director in the rehearsal room. Well, how is rehearsal going? Oh my God, it's so fun. It's really exhilarating. This cast is just extraordinary. And some of the artists, including Eden Espinosa, uh, Andrew Smonsky, Nate Stampley, they've been with the show back since its first production in 2018 at Williamstown. It's very elegant and it feels like tomorrow's work in a really muscular, uh, elegant way. The musical is about Tamara de Lampica. Yes. Who, it sounds to me like she was a pretty complicated person. <laughs> so tell me what appeals to you about this material. Sure. I mean, like any great character, Tamara has such incredible qualities of charisma, ambition, longing, desire. The real Tamara was known for eating food off the naked bodies of both men and women. Tamara in our show, as embodied by Eden, is full of so much yearning and vulnerability and also fire. I think you will leave understanding the depths and heights of color and shine and angularity and face that Tamara was capturing over these incredibly complex interiors um, because she was so moved by humans and their fragilities. And then you'll also leave knowing about Tamara and two lovers in particular, her husband uh, and one of her great muses, Rafaela. I feel like Tamara de Lampica is not as well known as other artists of the period. Sure. So what do you want people to know about her? I feel like audiences coming in might know nothing. Yeah. My experience always when I say I'm developing a show about Tamara de Lampica is like, oh, I don't know who that is. And then I show them her artwork and they're like, oh, I totally know who this is. Mm -hmm. And they know it maybe because they or someone else had one of her posters on their wall at college. They know it because it's in Madonna's videos. It's in Lady Gaga's work. Rihanna, I mean, it's in Beyonce. It's in, it's in any strong, woman, there is something about how she took humans because she was a portrait painter uh, and she made them gods. And I think there is something about that that is deeply appealing. I hope that people leave understanding Tamara was a painter of humans and I hope people leave understanding the amount of nuance that is there in these paintings and like the ferocity that is in the eyes of the people that she painted. She was a survivor in many, many ways. She was a survivor of um, revolution. She was a survivor of sexual assault. She was a survivor of uh, a lot of misogyny that she had to move through. And I think you feel her will to live and thrive in her artwork. And I hope people will receive that. Because this is about an artist, Tell me a little bit about the visual palette that you were working with as director. Oh yeah. First and foremost, we really wanted to make a show that Tamara would like, uh, you know, and, and make one that is as aesthetically spectacular as her work is because she was a, she was a woman with flair. In particular, we ended up looking a lot at the Eiffel Tower. Um, which was fairly new to Paris by a the deco time. Deco piece. Yep. You know this shiny new like exquisite sculpture of black iron uh, and curls and lines. And so the set, in many ways, will feel like a deconstructed Eiffel Tower. That's like a jungle gym for all of us. It's one of the most fun sets I've ever staged on, actually because it is that strong and it can take the muscularity that our performers are bringing. Mm -hmm. 